Netflix has apparently warned Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to deliver on the goods or they won't get paid. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And in news that should surprise no one, Netflix is reevaluating their $100 million deal with the Montecito couple. Yeah, apparently they are not happy with the other shows that have been pitched by Harry and Meghan, just as Spotify has recently dropped their uh, deal. And this comes at the same time when Harry's own interview with Oprah Winfrey, more quotes from the interview are coming back to bite them in the rear end. Apparently, both Netflix and Spotify are horrified uh, by the, the, the they were horrified by this deal where Harry admitted, <laughs> he admitted that the deals with Netflix and Spotify were never part of the plan. He says they were suggested for financial security amid his dramatic and costly exit from royal duties. That was suggested by somebody else by the point of where my family literally cut me off financially and I had to afford security for us, Harry said at the time. Well, apparently that stung the Spotify bosses and the Netflix ones, too. Uh, Net Daily Mail editor Richard Eden says that the Duke's remarks were insulting and horrified executives who at the time had just entered a $20 million deal. And Netflix, obviously, a $100 million deal. Uh, yeah, so Netflix is finally getting their last laugh here. And let's break this down. Plus, plus, Taylor Swift, the queen, denies Meghan Markle on the grift. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. We got lots to report today. In fact, before we even get to it, can I remind you guys, you guys have helped us hit that button, hit that bell for alerts, smash that like button, become part of our Popcorn Planet Core. People who check out the videos as we upload them, I appreciate you guys. You guys are everything. We got another story for you later this afternoon you're not going to miss. All right, but breaking it down to today's story. Now, Netflix has reportedly warned them, and I buy this. Who Who's not buying this? I'm curious who's not buying this. But apparently... Netflix has told them, come up with new shows if you want to be paid the remaining balance of the $100 million. So you got to remember, they already made $100 million based off of Harry and Meghan, which was the top you know, Netflix documentary. That made a ton of money. And so Netflix has agreed, okay, you delivered half. And that's something. So that's what it cost, if you were curious, how much selling the royal family up for was worth. $50 million is what it was worth. So that's what they got out of that, I guess, plus spare. But for the Netflix deal alone, they got paid $50 million. I got so many thoughts on what Harry and Meghan should have done, but I think I'm going to save that for my next video. Let's, let's focus on the Netflix thing right here. Actually, no, I want, I, I'm going to add it here. To just show how incompetent and inexperienced they are, they should have never released the goods, the drama, until they had gotten a couple favors in first. They should have curried favor and gotten the deal to release. There was some animated show they were working on others. They should have gotten that stuff first. It should have been part of the deal to be like, look, we're going to give you the goods. You're going to get the drama, but we don't want to be known for the drama, Netflix. So bear, please let us release a couple things and then the drama so we can promote that while the drama is there to help us get a leg up. But no, they were so dumb and inexperienced and rushed into releasing all the tea. Once you release the tea, you got nothing left. You gotta have, you gotta be confident that you're gonna have more goods, and they don't have the goods, so they gave up the the the, the jewel, the crown, right away. Yeah, yeah, let's go bash this. Now there's nothing left to give. You should have held on to that a little bit more if you were gonna do it. Give it to Netflix, like, well, hold on, we got you gotta at least let us try a couple of these shows before you expose us as the ratting royals, which they've become. So they've dug their own grave here. Who wants to get content from these people who are just now proven to be ratting royals? Um, but yeah, so they did get paid for that already, $50 million. Now, the deal was made, though, so that it could be adjusted based on performance. And yeah, Netflix can pass and turn down other things that have come in. Harry and Meghan didn't, if they don't come up with the goods, Sun Sunday reports, the, the couple's relationship with the streaming service won't be as publicly humiliating as a Spotify deal. Uh, but there's no question of a headline grabbing public parting of the way Netflix source told the paper Netflix was pleased to sign Harry and Meghan and is looking for some great ideas going forward. But the remainder of the deal relies on them producing those good ideas deals continually under review, which is normal for ones of this magnitude. And this is about the most honest quote you could get. So anyone out there thinking that this is some hate thing, this is the reality of any content, like any produ production studio, anybody they want to make sure you're going to deliver and they don't want to just put stuff out there. And some of the stuff that has been pitched by them is unreal. 
Netflix told uh, the paper the lemon has been fully squeezed. Ouch. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is why I say you don't give it up right away. You don't give up the the tea. The the thing that you know is your is it. I got this salacious thing. You want to use the salacious thing to sell something else that you believe in to give it a shot and then give it up. But no, the lemon has been squeezed. One, Megan, um, Megan, one source said, lives in her own bubble and does not seem to have grasped the economic reality. There is a less friendly attitude from some of the top. The feeling is that the lemon has been fully squeezed. The big bucks Harry and Megan signed on for do not exist today. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Their stock has gone as tumbled. They came in so assuming they were going to be the talk of the town. Miss Hollywood, everything. We're going to bet all the deals. Oh, we got more books. We got more shows. Everyone's going to want our shows. Well, they just wanted your gossip. They just wanted your gossip, girl. And you gave it to them. And you could have made more. Your, your team was so dumb. You didn't even like know how to like sell the gossip to at least give you a leg up on the next moves. They're, they're so short-sighted. They're so full of themselves. They're delusion. I, I, they're dumb. I think that dumb prince and his stupid wife, I don't even think that's supposed to be mean. I think it's honest. They're just dumb. They really are stupid and dumb. They don't know what they're... I don't think they know what they're doing. They are just morons. And yes, that pivots into the next story I wanted to go to, because all hail the queen. Well, Britney's the first queen, but I do love me Taylor right next to uh, Britney. Uh, and Taylor Swift declined uh, appearance on Archetypes. And apparently, Megan wrote a personal letter to her. Megan took the time to write a personal letter to Miss Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor, come, come help my grift going. I'd love for you to show up on my deal so I can get paid to interview you. And Taylor's no dummy. Taylor knows what's up. Taylor's like, uh, no, girl, uh, I control my my empire myself, and I don't go out to other grifters to exploit me. She smelled you a million miles away, Ms. Meghan Markle, and she'll never admit it. You'll never see Taylor go bash Meghan Markle because she's too good for that. She would never resort to that. <laughs> but she did the next best thing, which is deny her. And then the rumor got, that got leaked out, not by Taylor, clearly by others who were like, Meghan couldn't even get Taylor Swift, which well, let's be fair. Who can get Taylor Swift unless you're her BFF, like Selena Gomez or something like you're not going to get Taylor Swift. Taylor is sticks to her crowd or loyal whoever she's with and uh it's gotta it's gotta help her most because she's smart she she's one of the most smartest business women we have out there with the way she's bringing back her albums and the eras tour and the marketing and the vinyls my goodness she is brilliant say what you want about taylor all you idiots out there want to hate on her she is running rings around everybody else in this industry she, she is on the top and so it's just very very interesting to see someone so on top, female, feminist, leader. Uh-uh. No, Megan. Nope. No, thanks. Who are you again? All right. No, I'm good. Good luck, though, to you guys. Best of luck. I'm busy. Ah, oh, bravo. In fact, you deserve a round of applause, Taylor. All, all hail Taylor Swift for seeing the grift a mile away and being like, nope. Apparently, yeah, she, uh, she was uh, a personal letter from the Duchess of Sussex. And uh, yeah, she's like, nope, I'm good. She declined. She declined. Uh, so yeah, there's so much more. Uh, sources are speaking out now about the deal at Archwell. People, producers involved. That's going to be my next video. I wanted to sort of spread this out because I thought this Netflix update and the Taylor was too good to not put in its own report for you guys. But next up, we're going to talk about the Archwell sources that have now come out of the woodwork to expose what working like with Meghan and Harry was actually like. How delusional are they? Oh, well, you're not going to miss it. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. It's right up there. Hit the bell. Heck, you really want to support what we're doing here? You really want to blow me away? Step up even more. Hit the three little dots and click on the super thanks button. That was right. You can leave a super chat right down in the comments and impress everybody else. And your comment will be seen more than everybody else. And you'll be supporting uh, Popcorn Planet. It's a win-win for everybody. Uh, so if you support this coverage, at least hit one of those, a like or the super thanks or anything, or subscribe. You can also hit the join button. We got so much more coming here on the channel. Appreciate you guys so much. Stay tuned for more coverage of this and so much more here on Popcorn Planet.